Yes. That's why we have this little smile on our faces mm -hmm. and we can't stop smiling. <laughs> so I have to, um, now we talked about, oh no, that wasn't you guys, that was my algebra too. We talked about inverses and how they look on a graph and all this stuff. Now you guys are supposed to know that if we compose these two things, what's the answer going to be if I plug one into the other? If they're inverses, what would the answer be? X. X. Yeah, so we just, and so if they are inverses, we know that we're going to do a composition and we're going to end up with just x. You have to do it both ways. So you have to do f of g of x and then you also have to do it g of f of x. Both ways. I don't know if that's going to be enough room for me to do it both ways. but So f of g of x says take g of x and plug it in to f of x. So that's going to be 1 over Oh, this ugly thing. 3x plus 1 over x. I plugged it in for the x. Minus 3. Is that okay? I just plugged it in right there for the x. And then we got a complex fraction. So now we got 1 over 3x plus 1 over x minus... There's my big fraction bar. This thing I want to make a common denominator. So I'm going to call it 3x over x so that I can have the common denominator. And then I can say that's 1 over, well, 3x minus 3x is going to give me 0. And then, but I have the 1 still over x. So I'm going to have 1 over x. Well, guess what? If I flip that thing upside down, what do I get? x, of course. I get x. Okay, so I just, I'm just checking. So this one checks out that I think they're inverses so far. Once in a while, it'll go one way, but it won't work the other way. So if we plug it in, g of f of x, I think I'll use some of this room up here for scratch work and then I'll write the answer because it might get ugly. I don't know. Hopefully it won't get ugly. Plugging f of x into g of x, that means I have to plug this thing in two places, there and down there. So it's going to look like this. Three times this ugly thing, 1 over x minus 3, plus 1 all over this ugly thing. Is it okay? See, that's that bottom max right there. And then um, that's the x that was next to the 3. And so I got an ugly complex fraction again. So this can be written as 3 over x minus 3. And 1 can be written x minus 3 over x minus 3. Right? Then I have a, com then I have a uh, common denominator. So, and then th the 3 and the negative 3 cancel out, and I just get x over x minus 3. Now denominator, oh, and then this denominator keeps coming along, right? It's 1 over x minus 3, right? It keeps coming along. So that's 1 over um, x minus 3. Well, you can imagine if I take that and flip it up here, the x minus 3 is going to go away, and I can even show it. I'll show it out the long way. x over x minus 3 times this reciprocal, x minus 3 over 1. Well, look at that. So it did turn out. So we're going to say, yes, uh, they are inverses, or they are inverse functions. Any questions on that? You just plug them right in. One of these days they'll d give you one that will work one way and not the other, and then you'll be like, Cause I thought they always worked. Okay, so 51, that was number, oh, was I recording? <laughs>